right. I'm kind of deaf. So it's all yeah. That's right. Oh, yeah. By the way, he's a legend for doing what he's going to do. Where is that? Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's done this. He's done this. Tell it, Lou. Tell it. Tell it. What am I supposed to say? <laughs> Jim. Jim has done this for... The, Jim was with the Air Force Band with me. And he has done this little shtick that he's going to do for us tonight. He's done this for the Chief of Staff of the Air Force. And I don't know how many other people. Chairman, the joint Chairman of the Joint Chief of Staff, which is yeah, above the Chief Bum. of the Air Force. Ralph Bone. Ralph Bone. Yeah, yeah, Ralph Bone. <laughs> <laughs> That's an inside joke. 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 The rest of the day, the rest of this program is up to him. And this is the story of John. This is the story of John. Well, oh, you're yeah, it might be. You know, it, it might be lies. You know, it might be lies. <laughs> but, um, and Ashley. That's right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah somewhere. Yeah, you're there. And Ellie, too. Oh, and Ellie. Ellie. Oh. Oh. So, you know, so enjoy. This is, uh, okay. This is, this is I can go with you. Do a video. Yeah, I'm getting loot. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing video. Whoa. I used to have him lower my music. <laughs> That's good. Things have changed. Well, of course, this is an appropriate kind of music, I think, for the occasion. They know they're trying to uh, introduce this in Italian restaurants everywhere. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, accordions, you know, mandolin, that sort of thing. Banjo is the coming thing. What up? How are you doing? <laughs> down in Fort Washington. He got his first accordion when he was only seven and he sang vaudeville duets along with his brother Kevin. <laughs> Family entertainment, that is. My little Marty. Toot, toot, tootsie. Thanks to Auntie Fran. <laughs> now it's been said that this child was accident prone. I'm not sure. <laughs> John was back from the ER with a bandage on his head. And Rosemary made soup because the boys had to be fed. The phone rang, John turned to look but couldn't quite read group. And ended up with the back of his head in a bowl of tomato soup. <laughs> Magic, that is. Abracadabra, turn my head into a bowl of tomato soup. <laughs> Anyway, I guess they'll be needing another bandage. Go back to the ER, right? <laughs> he practiced hard to learn the art of song communication. In a contest in his age group, he won first place in the nation. He kept right on going until the ripe age of 13, and he said to his folks, Folks, I gotta quit this scene. Or <laughs> <laughs> he wet the accordion, that is. <laughs> the renaissance of vaudeville. <laughs> In his younger days, his taste in food were narrow, that's a fact. If you offered him tomato sauce, you know he'd send it back. What if it's of that earlier experience? No. But as he grew, he tried more things which he relished without fear. Especially after learning of a special thing called beer. <laughs> you guessed it. Brewski, that is. Suds, barley, hops, all that stuff. But at Fort Washington, you have to bring your own. <laughs> Drink one, hide the rest. <laughs> At American University, the challenges were great. And many a student goes there who somehow doesn't rate. But John studied hard, he became a grad cum laude. Communications, photography, and learning to get rowdy. <laughs> Wild that is. Get 
down. Get up again. some some bands and played bass on lots of gigs. With strings he played for presidents and on numerous big wigs. From Barcelona to Japan he'd wear his tux of Gucci. Was it Gucci? Oh gosh, probably not. At Seoul Olympics in 88, watch a ball game eating sushi. Yeah. <laughs> but he didn't actually. No. No. I think they had beer though. <laughs> Just the year before saw a day change his life. It was the first conversation with his lovely future wife. It was Grateful Dead night and John thought it'd be a bummer if I'd ever let this nice girl hook up with our drummer. <laughs> no way that's happening. We don't do things that way. Grog and tankard. No way. <laughs> Now the ensembles he performed with her. The strolling strings, stereo strings, train of thought, smoking, lush your step, big fat, daddy, daddy, Morris band, Josie, sing all stars, combo in go, Josh Cook band, go to the go to tour, chicken day, Judge Smith duo, and who could forget? Three guys from strolling strings. That's right! Yeah. <laughs> big banjo, thank you. All three guys. Guy. The three guys. And John. Somebody I asked this. You guys have a name? And I said, yeah. Three guys from Stolen Trees. <laughs> Thereafter, John and I were on a gig. I'd say, two guys from Stolen Trees. <laughs> one more. Stereo Street. That's enough of this. Dessert's coming. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, there's more. <laughs> well, she saved him from drowning back in 1988. By 2005, it was about time for another date. <laughs> they went back to that same beach in 2010 and decided to get married. Now the only question is when. <laughs> Planning, that is. New ring, new life. And with Ellie along, John gained a sledding partner. <laughs> now we're sending warmest wishes to Ashley, Ellie, and John. As you embark together on your path that's moving on. We wish you years of happiness, and you know that ain't no jive. Because although you're fans of the Grateful Dead, you're glad to be alive. <laughs> Yeah.